Hi everybody, it's Gail the Happy Stamper. Thanks for stopping by. I wanted to share with you a really cute card that I just made. I have found a new uh, line of stamps that I think are just adorable and I could not wait to share. Look at this cute little caterpillar. Is he not precious? Oh my gosh, I just love him. And my card says, just inching by, thought I'd say hi. And here's the best part, you guys, when you open it. Da, 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 da. It's one of those honeycomb little apples. Is it that precious? Oh my gosh, I am crazy about this. And he looks like he's holding it. That's so cute. And it says to you, dear friend, the apple of my eye. So I'm going to show you how to put this together. I don't think I'm going to have enough time to do everything, but I'm going to show you this part, which is pretty much, you know, the important part. And then, um, you know, you can design it on the outside however you would like. So I found a stamp set, and I'm sure everyone has probably heard of it. It's called Inky Antics. This is the Caterpillar stamp set that I'm using today. The nice thing about this stamp set is you can use the individual stamps, or you can use these that are especially designed for the honeycomb paper and make whatever your object is pop off the page. So that's what I'm using today. You'll need a set of those. And then you're also going to need, this is the Inky Antics Honeycomb Paper Pad. This is in red. It comes in a variety of different papers. It's about a five by seven sheet. It's got little grooves, kind of lines in it. It's thick, but it's the honeycomb paper, but it's a pad of it. On the back here, you're gonna notice it says Honey Pop. There are arrows here running um, horizontally. You always wanna stamp in that direction. Okay, so I'll get to that in just a minute. First off, though, I want to show you how to score your card, your cardstock. It's a standard A2 size card, and you're going to get two pieces out of one, eight and a half by 11. And what I did, because I could not make my lines line up properly here on my, um, this is just the score buddy, I took my handy dandy ruler and I just laid it out and I measured it by hand. And I just made two little marks at the top where I needed to score it, and then I used my lines and my score buddy. So you wanna start off, what the object is, you need an eighth of an inch in between for the thickness of the honeycomb paper. So you want to score at four and three sixteenths, which is here, and then you want to score at four and five sixteenths. So you just want to move over two and do it there. Make two little marks with this or your pencil, um, and then just make your lines. But that way you'll have just a little bit of a space for enough room for the honeycomb. You're going to take your honeycomb paper or honey pop, and I am going to use the Memento Black Ink. What I would suggest is that you use Versamark. Make sure you use Versamark because then you won't see the lines. So you're going to apply your stamp to your block and you are going to stamp right on the honeycomb sheet. And again, I'm using the black, but I would suggest you just use Versamark when you are actually doing this um, yourselves at home. You're going to cut along the line and you're going to trace all the way around this cute little shape. You just want to make sure though that you are going in uh, the direction like I had said earlier. Follow the arrows on the honeycomb paper and that is a horizontal and it's also marked on the stamp too. Okay, so then you're gonna end up with a piece that looks like that, set your honeycomb paper aside. What I like to do is just kind of lay this out where I think I'm going to put it. I'm going to take my black ink. I'm going to stamp up my caterpillar, this cutie patootie. Oh, he is so stinking cute, I can't even stand it. I'm just in love with these. I have been making these like all day long. 
Okay, so I want to make it look like he's holding it. So I think right about there looks good. Maybe down. That looks good because I already bumped it. It's hard to work around this thing. Oh, all right. Well, I'm going to keep going. Okay, then I take my apple and I'm looking for my pencil, which is right here. You're going to lay out your pencil or get your pencil out. Put the apple here in the crease, and I like to mark it where the little top of the apple is. Then I'm going to take the stamp that's the top of the apple. I'm going to ink that up real good. And I'm going to line this up up there where that little mark is. And I'm also going to mark, let me just lay this out one more time. I want to kind of figure out where I'm going to put my little verbiage over here. So I'm just going to make a little pencil mark there. And this says, to you, dear friend, the apple of my eye. That's so cute. And I'm just going to put this like that. So it's close to my little apple mark, or my little mark, and you can erase it if you need to. I don't even think you can see it, so I'm not too worried about it, but. All right, so then you're gonna use just a regular old glue stick, and that's how you're going to adhere this. Nothing fancy schmancy. You're going to put your glue directly onto the honeycomb paper, like so. You're going to lay it down. And again, you want to kind of, you know, leave room in that little crease in here so you can um, have enough width to open it. Then you're just going to put more of your glue stick on the other side. And then you're just going to close your card around it real well. And I like to press real good. So then when you're done, da 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 da, how cute is that? How cute is that? OMG, I love it. So that's the basics of how you do the honeycomb. Isn't that just precious? Just adorable, I love it. So that's how you do that um, and you attach it to the cardstock, and that is just using just regular old glue stick. And then on this card, I colored in my caterpillar. I'll show you the inside. I colored my caterpillar with my Copic markers, and I used YG3, YG5, YG05, I should say, YG03, YG05, and YG07. I'm kind of, uh, I don't know what the word is, dyslexic or something. I mean, I'm not really, but I color my Copics from the darkest to the lightest. I know you're supposed to go the other way, or actually you can do whatever you want, but for me, I do better work if I go from dark to light as opposed from light to dark. So that's just a personal preference for me, but those are the colors that I used on my adorable caterpillar and also here on the front. And then I colored the background with YG21, just to give them a little yellow, like there's some sunshine out there, or it's the end of the day, and he's gonna go crawling through some leaves. And I added a couple of buttons on here that I got through a Walmart haul for a really great deal. And then I used, the paper collection is from Die Cuts with a View. It's the Amber Autumn Stack from last year. And then I just hand cut out my little thing here and it says, just inch in by, thought I'd say hi. Isn't that, I just, I'm crazy about this. So that's how you put that together, how you score it, and that's how you decorate it. So I hope you guys have a great day. If you have any questions, just leave me a message. I'll get back to you. And uh, thanks for visiting with the Happy Stamper. Have a great weekend, guys. Big hugs. Bye-bye.